Okay, in this video I'm just going to very briefly um, talk about the fact that R is an object-orientated language. Now that's a very particular type of programming language. Um, I won't go into details about that because it'll, it'll be a very long video. Um, but it's an important thing uh, because basically everything in R is an object. Um, and a type of object is called a class and things that you can do to a class are methods. So often um, different classes, so different things, can have the same method. So for example, you can have a set of numbers and you can use the plot method to plot those numbers, but you could also have a regression analysis, which is an object, and be able to plot that using the same command. Um, so in reality, what does that mean? It means that often, uh, if you know a little bit of R, you can just try something and, uh, and it just works. Um, but uh, so so it's 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 great that that R is an object oriented um, language. Um, the two uh, two classes we're going to really concentrate on in, in this course are um, uh, vectors um, and data frames. Now, all vectors are are basically a collection of things of the same types. For example, we've got some numeric vectors there, um, some logical or boolean vectors there and uh, some character or string uh, vectors there. Um, and in other words, we don't have dog, true, and three all in, all in the same uh, vector. If we did, then true and three would also be strings. Um, and then all data frames are, are collections of vectors. So here we see the name vector, the age vector, and whether or not this person was a smoker. Um, so in, uh, we'll move on now to, uh, to actually creating objects of our own and beginning to actually get our hands dirty in R.